The headlines are saying veteran Nollywood actress Binta Ayomogaji Udulaye says most Nollywood actors are prostitutes. The actress is said to have made this remark during an interview. Okay, if you note that I said the headlines are saying she mm -hmm. said to have said because mm -hmm. I went to watch the video mm -hmm. and she did not categorically say anybody's a prostitute. I don't know if you guys had the chance to watch it the same video. It was one hour long. I, and, and I didn't of course, get I had to move to move, keep moving, where she, she came into the show because okay. she spent about, um, I think, 20 to 29 minutes with them on the show. Okay. Yeah, cool. So you saw it, right? Mm. But I didn't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, mm, mm, yeah. So I don't know why a platform like that would want to sensationalize a story like that, that. way. Mm -hmm. Because um, I'm not going to say Nigerians don't um, try to pay attention to details or something, but that is the case. Oh and God. the celebrities are not out of this equation. There are people who will look at that headline in that industry and, and run along with her. it and say, this is what Madame said. Um, they think they are better and than us and all that. Oh, down, no, that please. was not what she said. She was explaining. I think the question was why. Why does it seem like um, the veteran in those days and the kind of affluence they got and what is attainable now is different? Because looking like now they are making much more money. And um, she was asked if they feel like they are being carried along from the old Nollywood to the new Nollywood, and then she said. Sometimes you might even think that they are making so much and those gifts they are getting are from people that admire them. The houses, the cars, so many things they're showing off could be from an admirer and it's not necessarily that it is coming from the industry or mm -hmm. they could also have other businesses that they do. You know, she broke it down, she explained it, and there was no point or... When she called anyone a prostitute? No, like, she never you, used when the I word said I didn't, prostitute. When I said I didn't listen, because I didn't watch the full 29, so I was skipping, mm -hmm. I was skipping, and I got to the point where she labeled all these things, saying that, look, the people in the industry, that it's not just about what they do in the Nollywood in industry. industry. That's yeah. what is bringing them the cars, the flashy cars, the flashy houses they own, that a lot of them get gifted mm -hmm. these things. And I was she sad too when I never heard the word, because no, I was just I, skipping. I, okay. I'll go back. Did I miss the prostitutes? Did I? But I didn't get it. At least, okay, so the both of you listened. At mm -hmm. least you, 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 didn't, you watched, mm -hmm. you, you skimmed through, mm -hmm. you listened. Me, I read. Mm -hmm. the, in the one that I read that they just put small, small, small. What they said was that she said that she can't judge them the people that do these things. I want she to ask you if it's them. there. Because she doesn't feed them and they're not she her daughters. said that. And they're not her children. I mean, no. they're not her daughters. So mm -mm. she will When she mentioned the daughter business. is when she was talking about people. Okay, she was asked if um, um, showing your nudity or selling that kind of try to put your body out there is going to give you longevity in the industry. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm paraphrasing. And then she said that she doesn't think so, that if her daughter wants to come into the industry and is trying to tell her that um, showing her body or showing a bit of nudity is going to push her, then she will tell her to stop that because she has been in the industry for over 40 years and she did not have to show her, um, her, her, her body, body to be relevant. So she's not going to encourage that with her daughter, that they are not her children, so it's fine. She never made those okay, statements. Now, if if this, is, this is how it happened, then the story, then the headlines, everything is just falsified. It's sad. It's actually really because really uh, a lot of people. Well, let's up. come back to the airlines. <laughs> Why would so you want to discuss the headlines? The headlines? The Do we okay. agree? Mm. Agree to who? Agree or what? That. S okay. <laughs> I don't understand the A good like, percentage. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, the, this is uh, coming from you now, not this coming from I or Mogaji. Yeah. Let's make Do we better. agree that um, prostitution is relative these days? It's not okay. until you stand on Allen Avenue that you're a prostitute. What does prostitution mean? Thank you. Transactional sex. Transactional sex. Yeah, okay. that's, the that's, that's the simplest that's definition okay. of okay. prostitution. And you don't got to okay. stand on the road to have transactional sex. Yeah, so that's if that's the case, saying, then that's everybody, so everybody can be prostitutes, or you've been, you, every, how do you I put prostituted? it We've all been <laughs> prostituted at some point. Oh, oh, you've had transactional sex? In time. <laughs> you've had transactional sex? What do you understand by transactional sex? So let me, let me tell you, it doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be money. It, doesn't have, it could be okay, favors. Okay, favors for I sex. I feel like I love you, and because I love you, then you should satisfy me in that way. Then it is transactional. That, that's a price oh, man, for sex. No, then that's not right. prostitution. It's what? Prostitution, it's that, that you need no, to see. redefine your prostitution. Oh, again. no, that you I'm need to be, like, because you love me, that is we have... 
a relationship. You cannot use transactional. What is... You, mm -mm. I'm telling you... Oh. I have given you an example. So, come back to your definition. <laughs> what said, uh. is prostitution? Transactional sex. Okay. It doesn't work. It doesn't work? No, it doesn't. For you me, need it to doesn't. check your dictionary then. Okay. I'm it doesn't work for me. We'll yeah, you do that need that to check your dictionary. <laughs> if, you, if you do not believe that... Because a transaction is... Wait, 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 wait. If okay. you do not believe that, mm. the fact that I'm getting paid to sleep with you, mm. or you're giving me this to sleep with you... Or I'm washing is... your clothes for you to be satisfied and finally come and sleep with me. How does, does that even come into play? <laughs> if, uh, let's not break oh, this It's fine. I think we should down. just check our Anyways, dictionaries. Anyways, but um, I think I saw something on was it um, one of the bloggers' posts last week. Mm. Tinder, no, that says that said he was being very sarcastic. He mm. said, "So most of the Nigerian f actresses, the female actresses, mm. get paid way more than the male ac um, male actors." I think we've done he, a, he, a report on that. Right? Yeah, yeah, and I think while we were doing the report, sorry to cut you, we spoke to I can't remember his name now. One of the um, actors on set, and he he said something. He said Kenneth that. Ticoli. I do, I, well, there were about two or three. I don't know who exactly said what I'm the going to say. The one was making some sound But he said that... Oh, God. Do you remember, He right? said that if... Um, he said the fact that the guys do not display their wealth mm. or come out to tell you they have bought this and they have bought that does not mean that they are also not having businesses that are fetching them some level of income on the side. And it doesn't necessarily mean that these ladies are richer than they are. I remember when he said that clearly. Mm. So the fact that um, I don't want to mention anybody, any female, so it won't look like we are saying she's the one that is doing it, decides to display her car, does not mean that an RMD does not have a car that is way more than what she's driving. No, I, I think in the context where, because I, I will have to come in here, that they're trying to say is that if a male, a guy and a girl gets into the Nollywood industry at the same time, say 2013, mm -hmm. if you check... If you check, maybe after four or five years, and I'm not, I'm not even going to start talking about the different factors that will contribute, maybe their acting skills, the number of jobs they get. But well, we need but to check that. I know, too. but I'm just saying, like, on, a, on, on an average term, if mm -hmm. you check it, the lady is usually a whole lot more successful than the guy. The percentage, the percentage of that um, occurrence I also is say a lot. Success is relative. You have to define it for yourself, which okay. is what she said in that okay. interview. Let's I can, use I can put that one out there. The she social said social media wealth based perception. I mean, what is social media wealth based perception? I mean, social media, whatever, what that type of wealth. Social, it's really whatever because I don't get it. It's the type of wealth that the typical Nigerian youth these days think. Do you know I can success. actually look very rich on social media? Exactly. So exactly. why would I want to be discussing a success Ex that is based on perception that is not real? Ex exactly. But does, that's what people use now. Is, is no, there... people. People that want to use it. That is okay, not the standard. That is a, a very shallow standard. Most percentage of Nigerian youth. I'm not oh, going to say so Nigerian. you're saying most percentage of Nigerian yes, youth are shallow. That's, that's, that's cool. the reason why... Anyway, if oh, really? <laughs> you're quiet, but okay. probably need to move I on. I'm done with this story, man. <laughs>